Hi, my name is Jessica and this is The Dollhouse. In today's video, I am going to unbox two out of the six dolls released from series three of Shadow High. Today's video will feature Rosie Redwood and Scarlet Rose, but don't worry, I will unbox all six dolls and those videos will be posted later throughout this week. So please hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I post new videos. If you like my content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. So, the first thing that I've noticed about these dolls were their packaging. The packaging has slightly changed. There used to be a clear difference between Shadow High packaging and Rainbow High packaging. And it looks like with this series, they are combined into one. I will use Rosie Redwood as an example here to show you the packaging. So here is that Shadow High design here on the side. And here you can see that Rosie is a cosmetology focus. On the other side, there's nothing, but you can see that glitching from Shadow High. But on the top, you see the rainbow, and there's no glitching, and that's very similar to Rainbow High's doll packaging. And on the back, we see our clear rainbow, no glitching, and here's an image of the girls. You see Scarlet Rose, Rosie Redwood, and Blueberry Skies. The back of the packaging says, the students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. And on the front, on the top of the box, it says, let your true colors shine. It says Shadow High on the side, and you see those metallic, shiny details of cherry blossoms, I assume. I might be wrong, I don't know. But some cherry blossoms here for Rosie's artwork. And now next up, I am going to show you Scarlet Rose's artwork. And she has some nice little decals on the side here as well. And she is a creative writing focus. And the back of her box is just like Rosie's. And you can see the other two girls with her. Here's Rosie outside of the plastic cover. You can see her a little bit more clearly. And you can see that rainbow in the background of her package. She does come with her pink comb. She has a pink glittery doll stand. And there are the Shadow High studs around this stand. And the SH in the center for Shadow High. She has an eyeshadow pal palette with a mirror. She has another makeup palette. And she has a blush or a foundation here. And she also comes with this cherry soda with a little straw. It says, strikingly shadow. It says, strikingly shadow. And there's some cherries there and this straw is removable. So here is Rosie Redwood out of the box. She has those glass inset eyes. They are a brown tone. She has rooted lashes and her makeup style, I'm gonna say cherry a lot guys because she just reminds me of a cherry popsicle. It's cherry, okay? Her eyeshadow is a very light, very soft red and it has glitter there. Her eyebrows are red. She has a very soft, very soft blush and her lips are cherry red her hair is cherry red with highlights of pink as well and it's lifted up in these two ponies with hair wristed around and they're attached in the back with some rubber bands there is some product in the hair as you can see but the instructions say to wash it out with a gentle shampoo and water and you will have gorgeous soft hair her earrings are silver toned plastic and they have this red flower in the center and it has a little red gem that dangles from each ear and i'll show you on the other side one of my favorite things that stood out for me with rosie was her jacket and as you can see it's this very soft cream tone it's fur and it has embroidered red flowers and branches all around it just gorgeous like this is giving me like a sakura kind of like I don't know what to call it like what the words are I'm gonna say cherry blossoms because there are satin the satin lining has cherries so I'm assuming that's the theme here but her name is Rosie Redwood so is it like a redwood tree I don't know we got a lot going on but overall I do like her design her dress she is wearing a red pleather style dress and it is a, it adheres with velcro in the back let me take off her jacket now you can see that cherry lining on that satin 
texture very clearly and it has that shadow high tag there that's the inside and you can see her cuff here has those embroidered flowers as well this jacket is so pretty it's so pretty and here is her outfit again it's a strapless uh, pleather like dress it goes above her knee and there's no uh, detail or anything on the back it just attaches with velcro and her top is kind of just I don't know if I should call it asymmetrical but it's kind of an irregular design but I do like it I do think it's pretty but this dress is one of the simpler outfits that we've seen on our shadow high rainbow high dolls the main feature that she had with the most details was her jacket if we go down to her shoes her shoes are high over the knee boots they have a shiny pleather texture and they have all kinds of straps and zippers faux zippers around them they have a pointed heel with plastic heels and in the back you can see more of those straps and some it's not embroidered but some stitching as well in her boots her articulation is very similar to our standard rainbow high dolls and it's very smooth articulation. That's one thing I could say. MGA has really nice. Oh, if this leg breaks, it's kind of stiff. Maybe it's the boots. Guys, this leg's bending really weird. This leg is bending weird, like it doesn't want to bend. Ooh. And this one's bending okay. And this one's really stiff. Ooh, I need to watch out with these legs. What's up with the doll companies and the joints? Budget cuts? So next out of the box, I have Scarlet Rose, and you can see her a lot clearer, her, clearer now without that plastic cover. And I'm really digging her accessories over here. And it looks like she has books, and I'm hoping that the pages actually turn. I hope they hold some secrets for us. So now I have Scarlet out of the box. First, I want to show you her accessories. She does come with her stand here. She comes with her comb. And her accessories are more customized to her, more than I've seen out of any doll release from Shadow High or Rainbow High. From what I'm seeing, uh, Scarlett is a creative writing focus, and her accessories include her diary here, and it opens. She has a stylus pen, or a pen here that can hook onto her finger so she can write. She has a pair of shades. And she also has this coffee mug that says Scarlet. What I like most are these tiny little books that she has. This book says Storywood and the Enchanted Princess by T.M. Sparkle. And it has like little writing in the inside. I think this is the same page replicated, but it might have actual writing on there, but that font is tiny, y'all, and I can't see it. And here is the other one. It is called Oz, A Storywood Fairy Tale by T.M. Sparkle, and it has little writing in it, too, and I love it. I think it's very adorable, and I think it complements Scarlet very well, being a creative writing focus, and it fits in with my fantasy for Scarlet. Like, I love Scarlet, personally. I see myself walking in a park on a nice fall day with the leaves falling and seeing Scarlet on a park bench drinking a pumpkin spice latte reading a book. That's how I see her. She's my bestie. Like, I love her skin tone. It's a very soft, blushy, kind of burgundy tone. She almost looks like, they look like vampires to me. The white, very pale with the red is giving vampire, vampire vibes, but I think that is so appropriate with October coming up just around the corner and spooky vibes. I love it. I love the hoodie. And guys, what is Storywood? What every doll we've ever seen says Shadow High or Rainbow High or Anti Sparkle. What is Storywood? Hopefully, when we see Scarlet appear in the series, we can have those questions answered. I love her face and her makeup. Where Rosie had more of a honey brown eye, 
Scarlett has more of a hazelnut eye color and it's a deep brown tone. Her eyes are glass and inset with rooted eyelashes. I love her lips, her makeup for her lips. I'm sorry, her lipstick. It kind of ombres out from deeper to a lighter tone and I just love it. Her eyeshadow is a very soft red with burgundy highlights and she has glitter with them as well. And you can see her brows here. She has um, painted on baby hairs in those maroon and burgundy tones. It's lighter and darker, more like a uh, burgundy pink and a burgundy purple. If you go to her hair, her hair is two different shades of burgundy. I see that deep maroon and that softer kind of redder tone as well. And that's all throughout. She has six hair clips that are in the shape of safety pins. And they say SH for shadow high. She has two bantu knots at the top. And in the back, I've said that her hair is burgundy in a softer tone. But she has black hair rooted along the very bottom of her head. And I think that's a nice hidden feature there. She's got some hidden tones in there. Her hair is long. There is a significant amount of product towards the ends of her hair, but you can wash that out with mild soap and water. And her rooting, I think is pretty fair. I don't think her rooting is bad. Her hoodie here is burgundy. There's not too many studs or attachments or anything to it, but you do see this hood. And it says story wood in the center and it attaches with Velcro. Her earrings are plastic, but made to look like metal wire on these hoops. And her nails are super duper long. Like her nails are longer than Rosie's. Here are Rosie's nails. And here are Scarlett's nails. Super long and they are burgundy with silver tips. If we go down, you can see her pants here. I'll raise her waist so you can see some details here. You can see those belt loops. She has this little silver button here. And they're like a washed, faded kind of jean, and they're gray. And you have a zipper that goes all the way up. This is a faux zipper. And you can see some decals there that say SH for shadow high. And they attach with Velcro in the back. And her boots are really simple as well. They're black with burgundy heels and they say shadow in the center. And that's it. I like the simplicity of Scarlett's design. As I said before, I do love some bulked up, super detailed, super embossed jackets with patches and zippers. But I do like this as well. I love, I love this line because you still see the quality and the details. The textures are really nice. And this doll does not look cheap. I love this doll. This was the one that I had my eye on the most. And now that I have her, I am really happy to have her. I did test out her articulation. She does have the same articulation as Rosie, and she even has that bad knee. This leg was already bent in the box and bent pretty well, but this leg here, I've been having trouble uh, bending. So let me know in the comments once you receive your dolls, are you having any trouble with their articulation or with their bending? Because it seems very common now that with, or from now from this video filming, I've noticed that it's been very difficult to bend the left leg. Is that the left or the right? Yes, it's the left leg. <laughs> Here's Scarlett wearing her shades and holding her coffee mug, holding her cup of coffee. So in today's video, I reviewed Scarlet Rose and Rosie Revlet, and I think these dolls are really pretty, and I really enjoyed doing this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget, I will be unboxing the other four dolls this week, so please turn on that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload those new videos. If you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know, are you collecting these dolls? Do your dolls have a trick me? Let me know in the comments. My name is Jessica. This is Dollhouse, and I'll see you next time. Peace.